Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how to do this Black Widow spider and spider web design. This design is perfect for Halloween. All the polishes and acrylic paint that I use in this design will be listed down below in the description box. So if you want to learn how to do this design, just keep watching. So I use a gray nail polish on all of my fingers. So as you can see, this is two coats and this is uh, pretty much opaque. You can use any gray polish. Um, as you can see, mine has a shimmer, but you don't really have to have this polish. If you're curious about the kind of gray nail polish that I use in this look, just go ahead and check the description box below. So let's go ahead and work on the spider web. I have some water and black acrylic paint and I'm gonna really thin down this paint because we want to draw very thin lines. And now you just want to wait until the paint is completely dry and top coat. Acrylic paint dries very very fast and it will not smear when you top coat. But I am just going to draw his abdomen part. So it's going to be very easy because the pinky is uh, very small and it doesn't have a lot of space. So I'm just going to draw a circle, sort of like a uh, part of the spider. And we want to draw in a little bit of his legs just to make it look like a spider so when you're drawing the leg you want to make sure you thin out the paint because you want your lines to be very very thin so now it doesn't look like anything but once I put in more of the details it will look a lot more like a spider or part of the spider for this finger I'm actually going to draw the whole spider so what we want to do is draw a big circle and a tiny circle. And because the nail is small, so even the big circle, you don't want to draw it too big. I'm going to give him two fangs. is the spider we're gonna wait until this is completely dry and come back to add more details so now we're gonna go into the white paint and we're gonna put a little bit of the white on his abdomen because the red really will show up so much better if it's um, if it has a white background And we're now gonna go ahead and let the white dry. I'm really sorry I didn't get that last part on camera. So what I did was I just added a little bit of the red paint on the white part. As you can see, that completes this design and I am just gonna go ahead and top coat and finish it off. 